Cancer 9, a tiny nude miss reaching for a fish. This is an image of innocence and spontaneity and linking nakedness with fishing and, and simple natural expression. The part of us which is like that is hidden by social conditioning and, and requirements for us to behave in a certain way. And civilized processes of that kind are important, of course, to stop us allowing the animal nature to go too far out of kilter with the needs of the community. And yet, <clears throat> a price to pay for that level of obedience is that we very often lose our spontaneity and therefore our innocence. The image here is um, very similar to that of a very young child, just being in awe at everything in life, just seeing colors and smelling things for the first time and tasting something new and just trying things that might work one time and might fail another time and so on, just experimenting with life. Now we lose that quite quickly and the teaching here is, is that we shouldn't, we shouldn't let go of it all. We should try and hold on to the enthusiasm we have for life and um, express that in our spontaneous response to things. One of the key expressions of this energy is curiosity, where we look at something and we wonder, well, what's it do? What's it for? What, what's it like? How can I interact with it? And simply asking questions of life, how does that work? Why does that happen? What happens if I do this? Those kind of questions. If we forget that process, if we lose that process because society's stresses and strains have squeezed it out of us, then we've lost something very precious indeed. Enthusiasm is the embodiment of the spirit. Um, in, in other words, God acting through us. And if we lose enthusiasm for life, then we've lost the best part of life, really. Too many people discipline themselves away from their feelings in order to cope with the demands of their career or their family responsibilities. Or you know, We have to put aside our natural sense of who we are in order to please the boss or, or deal with the kids or whatever and it's it's too big a price to pay it's not okay to lose your soul just to fulfill your worldly obligations the the trick is to, to do both of these things and keep them both alive the trick in life really is to maintain an innocent spontaneity and at the same time Keep on top of things in life. Hold down your responsibilities meaningfully without losing that spark of joy. <clears throat> now, the, um, the innocence associated with nakedness and naivety and, and, and youth and ignorance is usually thought to be without power. It's a de declaration of vulnerability. And yet that vulnerability has its own power. It is not by any means an ineffective way forward in life. People respond to this innocent enthusiasm well. And even, even when you're older in life and you can be rather naive and asking silly questions and so on, even then people will respond well. And you can get through life by adopting this attitude of enthusiastic innocence. It's, it's not disempowering. The opposite is probably true. However, there is a downside in, in that um, the attention span of, of this energy is, is very limited indeed. We're curious about this for a moment and then something else grabs our attention and we see how that works and then we move on and then we move on and we we can't hold our focus of attention on a particular predetermined goal. This tends to limit our ability for worldly achievement and attainment. Those people that make it in the world keep keep their eyes on the prize in the long term against all distractions. 
Whereas this energy of, of Cancer 9 is, is more to do with allowing things to move your attention here and there and everywhere, just being in the flow of things, in the here and now. This is a very innocent here and now kind of energy that, that does not support worldly gain very much. <clears throat> and it, it underlines, the, underlines the importance of, of involvement in a, in a moment rather than using a moment to achieve an end. <clears throat>